You poor cheese brain. Ding dong. The doorbell rang again. I went to open it, still wearing my helmet. It was my sister, Thea. She works as a special correspondent, correspondent, correspondent at the Rodents Gazette. What on earth are you wearing on your head? She exclaimed. I touched my head. I guess I did look a little silly in the helmet. Still, my sister never missed a chance to make fun of me. It was probably, probably her favorite hobby after going on dates. This helmet is going to make my fur grow thicker, I tried to explain. My sister just snickered. The mouse on TV said it really works, I insisted, insisted. Thea didn't seem convinced. In fact, she began to giggle. Just then, I remembered, remembered the phone call. I grabbed my sister's tail. Listen, I've got the most unbelievable, unbelievable news. I squeaked. I just got a call from Professor Von Volt. He said something about a Yeti. You know, the hairy beast that is supposed to live in the Himalayas. Maybe he spotted one. Now Thea was really rolling, rolling with laughter, that is. She was roaring so hard she could barely squeak. You poor cheese brain, she finally choked out. How did you get to be such a dimwit? First, a helmet that makes your fur grow. Now a yeti. It's amazing that we are related. I stamped my paw. But I'm telling you, Thea, it was the professor. He said his life was in danger, I shrieked. Thea shook her head. Really, Jerry Berry? Everyone knows the Yeti is just some silly made-up monster, she sighed. You need to get out more. You know, get your face out of your encyclopedia once in a while. She stroked her fur absent-mindedly. Absent-mindedly. Now I was getting mad. It was one thing to pick on me, but my encyclopedia was priceless. Listen, Thea, I insisted. If Professor Von Volt really did find a Yeti, it would be a great scoop for the paper. You wouldn't want the daily rat to get it first, would you? 
My sister rolled her eyes. I'm telling you, someone is pulling your paw, she said. Speaking of jokesters, have you seen our cousin trap lately? Just then, a familiar mouse strolled through my front door. Yes, it was the king of pranks himself, my annoying cousin Trap Stilton. What's shaking, cousinkins? He grinned, jabbing me in the arm. I heard my name and came scampering. He danced over to my fridge. Then he helped himself to a huge block of cheddar. There goes breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I fumed to myself. Thea giggled. Trap, she cried. Did you just play a joke on Geronimo? Cousinkins, I heard my name and came scampering.